now you're ready to finish your spreadsheet. Hopefully it looks something kind of like this. You've got all your main parts filled in. This is the component. You've got the part ordered. You've got your source and you've got the cost. So yours should look basically done before you try and go any further. If you went someplace other than Price Watch, that's great. If you added in more parts, even better. So you can look over here at our steps. What we're gonna do is use auto sum function to get the total. We're gonna add some formatting to add the dollar sign. And then you're gonna be typing a paragraph that's your reflection. So let's start with auto sum. The auto sum is gonna come here. It's gonna go on column E and in this row 20, probably for you. And I want the total to come here at the bottom. I don't need to use a calculator. The computer is a calculator. We just wanna tell it I'm going to add everything in this column and give me my total right here. To do that, you're going to use the auto sum. Now take a look up at the top. You're going to find a symbol that kind of looks like a funny E. This is the auto sum. I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to click sum. Now it only goes this far because it's really not detecting everything that we want. So we can set the limit. I'm going to start here at the top. I'm going to come all the way down. Now don't get into the total. So make sure that you do not go that far. Just go as far as you have numbers. Then you're gonna press enter, and it's got the total. And the neat kind of thing about this is if you change a number, let's say that I put 41 in here, it changes automatically. So if you were using a calculator, you'd have to go through and make all your changes again. When you use auto sum, it's gonna update as it goes. Now the next thing we wanna do is include some formatting so that these are dollars and we want it to look like dollars. So I'm gonna come up here to this section of Excel. This is my number formatting. And you see that it says number, so that's good. You can kind of take a look and see. You've got some other choices if you wanted to do a date, percent, fractions, there's lots of choices here. If you want it to be straight text, we're gonna keep it number, but I'm gonna come over here and you can see you've got some of the options to how many decimals you want. And we wanna have a dollar sign. Now if I, had, if I was in a different country, I might use a different symbol. We want the dollar sign, okay? And I want it through the entire column. So I'm gonna click up here on the E, so it's my entire column. I could just do it a little bit at a time. I could highlight this much. So whichever way you prefer, I'm gonna click on the dollar sign, and there you go, it looks all nice. Now I didn't include it down here. I want it for this one as well. So now I've got everything looking like money. Now the last section is to come to the paragraph, and you're gonna write your reflection about this assignment. Here's four questions. Which one was more expensive? So you can come back to the Dell website from above and see how much did it cost and how much are your parts. What was easy? Did you find something in here particularly easy, you know, looking for things? Or what was difficult? And what would you prefer? If you had the money, would you go and just buy the parts and put it together yourself? Or would you go to the store and purchase one already put together? And then just tell me why. So I'm gonna come down to this big section marked paragraph do a double click, a double click will get you the cursor going and you're ready to type. So the Dell computer was more expensive. Or you could say your parts were more expensive. So whichever one, whatever you found out, you're gonna write about it and then you're gonna answer these other questions in this one paragraph. When you finish, you'll see it might stay or it might collapse. Either way, you're gonna turn this into the backpack and I'll be able to read your reflection. So when you're finished, make sure that you save it to your student account, save it into the backpack, and you'll get your grade.